Hey everybody, Ricky of the Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Churchill Downs, Louisville, Kentucky on Thursday, November the 3rd. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast race of the day. Let's take a look at race 11 this afternoon, folks. 5.43 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Commonwealth Turf Stakes. Eight and a half furlong root test on the turf. Grade 3. Three-year-olds race for $100,000. Contenders number three, Silver, Silver Medallion, number six, Wilkinson, number ten, Salto, and number seven, Humble and Hungry. Number three, Silver Medallion is the pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing out or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turf. Has hit the board in three of his last five, winning twice. He's coming off a power run place finish in his last start, missing a circle trip in that race, facing slightly better company by less than a length. Jockey Johnny Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher send him posted for the Thursday feature. They've hit the board with 55% of more than 400 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 11 summary, number 3, Silver Medallion, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 6, Wilkinson, number 10, Salto, and number 7, Humble and Hungry, 3, 6, 10, 7, and the 11 from Churchill Downs, the $100,000 Grade 3 Commonwealth Turf Stakes. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race 7, the 12 to 1 bomb, number 6, not so grim. Decent overall speed for this sprint at the specialized distance of 7 furlongs on Woodbine's cushion dirt track. Charlestown in West Virginia, race 8, number 10, Henry the Lover, 9 to 2 in the morning line, qualifies as a power pony, the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, sprinting at 7 furlongs on the dirt. Finger Lakes Race Course, Race 8, to 10 to 1 bomb, number 7, Remarkable Storm. The overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance from mile 70 yards on the dirt, has posted a trio of power run wins in his last five starts. So handicapping from Churchill Downs as we get ready for the Big Breeders' Cup weekend. Rick Deedham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.